Question 1. Which of the following roles works with the project team to understand the deliverables and then teaches the users of the deliverables how to utilize the project's product? A. End user. B. Database analyst. C. Stakeholder. D. Trainer. Answer is D. Trainer. Question 2. Which of the following qualitative techniques involves a disciplined analysis of the event sequences that could transform a potential hazard into an accident? A. Failure mode and effects criticality analysis. B. Hazop technique. C. Failure mode and effects analysis. D. Preliminary risk analysis. Answer is D. Preliminary risk analysis. Question 3. Which of the following establishes organizational checks and balances with a proper segregation of front, back, and middle office functions for effective risk management? A. Risk response plan. B. Risk analysis. C. Risk management plan. D. Risk governance. Answer is D. Risk governance. Question 4. As a program manager, you decided to overlap two phases of your program. Which of the following terms best describe your act? A. Lead time B. Rolling C. Fast tracking D. Crashing. Answer is C. Fast tracking. Question 5. Which of the following software development life cycles is a methodology that divides the project into phases, and the project manager focuses on control of time, cost, and scope? A. Spiral. B. Agile. C. Waterfall. D. Incremental. Answer is C. Waterfall. Question 6. Which of the following models demonstrates the attributes, operations, and relationship to entities within the solution? A. Entity Relationship B. Data Dictionary C. Class Model D. Crud Matrix. Answer is C. Class Model. Question 7. You have identified several stakeholders that you believe are kinesthetic learners. Which statement best describes the kinesthetic learning approach? A. The learners learn best by reading and pondering. B. The learners learn best by experiencing the topic. C. The learners learn best by seeing the topic in a model or through storyboards. D. The learners are not interested in the topic unless they can immediately apply it to their lives or jobs. Answer is B. The learners learn best by experiencing the topic. Question 8. Which of the following documents is described in the statement below? It is a type of procurement document used to request proposals from prospective sellers of products or services. A. Request for quote B. Request for information C. Request for bid D. Request for proposal. Answer is D. Request for proposal. Question 9. Which of the following is a procurement document? A. Project Work Breakdown Structure B. Project Charter C. Vision Document D. Invitation for Bid Answer is D. Invitation for Bid Question 10. You are completing the prepare for elicitation process for an identified problem in your organization. The prepare for elicitation process requires three inputs for this process. Which one of the following is not an input that will help you prepare for the elicitation activities? A. Stakeholder List B. Stakeholder Concerns C. Business Need D. Solution Scope Answer is B. Stakeholder concerns. Question 11. Which of the following tasks does not rely on other activities, and no other activities rely on this task completing? A. Analysis task B. Independent task C. Predecessor task D. Dependent task. Answer is B. Independent task. Question 12. Which of the following processes can start with the source of problems or with the problem itself? A. Risk estimation B. Risk analysis C. Risk management D. Risk identification. Answer Answer is D. Risk identification. Question 13 in risk analysis, which of the following can be identified as a consequence of a disaster? A. Loss of operating capability B. Loss of goodwill C. Loss of competitive edge D. Loss of stockholder confidence. Answer is A. Loss of operating capability. Question 14. You are the business analyst for your organization. You are identifying new opportunities to improve upon your existing web services. Management is open to new opportunities as long as the changes do not take more than 60 days to implement. What type of a factor does the 60-day implementation represent? A. Technical constraint. B. Schedule constraint. C. Business constraint. D. Assumption. Answer is C. Business constraint. Question 15. Underscore is a process to determine the completeness of the project work and to gain the customer's acceptance to move the project forward. A. Phase gate review. B. Inspection of key results. C. Verify scope. D. Quality control. Answer is C. Verify scope. Question 16. Which of the following phases is the first step towards creating a business continuity plan? A. Business continuity plan development B. Scope and plan initiation C. Business impact assessment D. Plan approval and implementation. Answer is B. Scope and plan initiation. Question 17. You are the business analyst for your organization and are working on prioritizing requirements. What plan should guide you through this process? A. Risk management plan B. Project management plan C. Requirements management plan D. Scope management plan. Answer is C. Requirements Management Plan. Question 18. 
Mark is the business analyst for his organization. Mark and his business analysis team have used the whiteboard to record the documentation as the result of requirement solicitation. What must be done with this information if Mark uses a whiteboard? A. The scribe must include the whiteboard information as part of the minutes. B. The business analyst must transfer the information to another medium before the whiteboard is erased. C. The business analyst must document the whiteboard information and get all participants' approval of the recording. D. The regulator must approve the writings on the whiteboard. Answer is B. The business analyst must transfer the information to another medium before the whiteboard is erased. Question 19 Enterprise Analysis provides many things for an organization. All of the following are tasks included in enterprise analysis except for which one? A. Determine solution approach B. Define business needs C. Assess capability gaps D. Solution performance assessment Answer is D. Solution performance assessment Question 20 Holly is the business analyst for her organization. Holly encourages teamwork and open communications among the business analysis team and the stakeholders. She wants stakeholders to drop by her office and freely discuss the requirements, the solution scope, and other concerns about the solution she's working on. Holly definitely prefers informal communications. What is the danger Holly may experience with informal communications? A. There is no danger. Informal communications is a preferred business analysis technique. B. The stakeholders may address the business analysis team and the project team directly rather than communicate through Holly. C. Stakeholders may miss information and the requirements could become ambiguous. D. The stakeholders may not know who's in charge of the solution. Answer is C. Stakeholders may miss information and the requirements could become ambiguous. Question 21. You are the business analyst for a large software development project. There are several issues that must be resolved by certain dates or the problem will prevent the project from advancing. What technique can you use to track problems with the requirements? A. Problem tracking. B. Issue tracking. C. RTM. D. Baselining. Answer is A. Problem tracking. Question 22. There are four inputs to writing the business case as part of enterprise analysis. Which one of the following is not an input to writing the business case process? A. Business need B. Assumptions and constraints C. Requirements verification D. Stakeholder concerns. Answer is C. Requirements verification. Question 23. The creative thinking process has three values to determine the effectiveness of the process. Which one of the following is not a measurement of effective creative thinking? A. Application of new ideas to resolve existing problems B. Generation of a predetermined number of new ideas for a business solution C. Willingness of stakeholders to accept new approaches D. The successful generation and productive consideration of new ideas. Answer is B. Generation of a predetermined number of new ideas for a business solution. Question 24. Which of the following statements best describes the purpose of the confirm elicitation results process? A. Validate that the stated requirements expressed by the stakeholders match the solution the organization has proposed. B. Validate that the stated requirements expressed by the stakeholders match the stakeholders' understanding of the problem and the stakeholders' needs. C. Validate that the stated requirements expressed by the stakeholders match the documented requirements of the project sponsor. D. Validate that the stated requirements expressed by the stakeholders match the project scope. Answer is B. Validate that the stated requirements expressed by the stakeholders match the stakeholders' understanding of the problem and the stakeholders' needs. Question 25. Henry is the business analyst for his organization and is completing the conduct elicitation activity. Part of this activity is to record the results of the requirements elicitation process. All of the following are acceptable elements for requirements documentation except for which one? A text message sent via a secured mobile phone be written documents describing the outcomes see visual or audio recordings D whiteboards. Answer is A text message sent via a secured mobile phone. Question 26. Which of the following is the best definition of the business rules analysis? A. To define the people that govern decisions in an organization and that define, constrain, or enable organizational policies. B. To define the job functions, roles and responsibilities, and the designation of power among the project stakeholders. C. To define the rules that govern decisions in an organization and that define, constrain, or enable organizational policies. D. To define the historical information that is available for the business analyst to rely on for his research. Answer is C. To define the rules that govern decisions in an organization and that define, constrain, or enable organizational policies. Question 27. Which of the following reports is generated whenever the project is slipping off the project schedule and includes an explanation of the problem? A. Status report. B. Schedule variance report. C. Delay report. D. Cost variance report. Answer is B. Schedule variance report. Question 28. 
you are the business analyst for your organization and are preparing for the conduct elicitation activities. You'll have six inputs as you prepare for this activity. Which one of the following is not a valid input for the requirements elicitation activity? A. Requirements management plan. B. Documented elicitation results. C. Solution scope. D. Business need. Answer is B. Documented elicitation results. Question 29. You are the business analyst for your organization. You want to use a requirements elicitation technique to produce a broad set of options for an identified problem. You want the stakeholders to help you identify options, factors that affect the solution, any possible delays in the solution implementation, and ideas for creating a solution. Which of the following requirements elicitation activities would best satisfy these requirements? A. Benchmarking. B. Brainstorming. C. Data flow diagrams. D. Business rules analysis. Answer is B. Brainstorming. Question 30. Which of the following models defines the name of the data, data aliases, and description of system data? A. Class model B. Entity relationship C. Data dictionary D. Crud matrix. Answer is C. Data dictionary. Question 31. You have identified several problems that you need to track as the business analysis duties progress. You want to make certain that the identified activities are resolved. What document elicitation technique can help in this scenario? A. Brainstorming. B. Observation. C. Interviews. D. Problem tracking. Answer is D. Problem tracking. Question 32. You are the business analyst for your organization and are training Tracy on business analysis duties. You are explaining to Tracy how it's important for a business analyst to generate new ideas to approaching problems, solving problems, and to generate alternative solutions. You stress that it's important for the business analyst to generate new ideas and innovative concepts. What type of analytical thinking are you describing for Tracy? A. Lateral thinking. B. Brainstorming. C. Creative thinking. D. Decision making. Answer is C. Creative thinking. Question 33. What requirements elicitation technique examines the available information, documentation, records, and history of a solution, organization, or cause to identify relevant information to the current business analysis duties? A. Benchmarking. B. Data flow diagrams. C. Document analysis. D. Requirements elicitation. Answer is C. Document analysis. Question 34. In which type of organization does a project manager have a moderate to high resource availability? A. Functional B. Weak C. Balance D. Strong. Answer is D. Strong. Question 35. What type of requirements elicitation technique is the Delphi technique? A. Survey B. Workshop C. Roundtable D. Prototyping. Answer is A. Survey. Question 36. Yolanda is the web designer for your company and you are the business analyst. You are working with Yolanda on a new website that your company will host. You'd like for her to create a mock-up of the website without spending much time on the actual workings behind the web interface. You'd like for her to show the customer how the website will look, some idea of the functionality of the website, and some basic graphics and colors so the customer can see the direction of the project. What type of prototype are you asking Yolanda to create? A. Mock-up prototype. B. Vertical prototype. C. Storyboard prototype. D. Horizontal prototype. Answer is D. Horizontal prototype. Question 37. You are the business analyst for your organization and need a method to requirements elicitation from nearly 12,000 stakeholders. You want a method to quickly capture this group's feelings and thoughts to identify what the majority of this group needs and wants in a new solution your organization may create. What requirements elicitation technique can be used in this scenario? A. Interviews. B. Trend analysis. C. Focus groups. D. Surveys. Answer is D. Surveys. Question 38. Which of the following is a flowchart that shows all the processes and the interfaces that interact with the project processes? A. Process configuration B. Pareto chart C. Control chart D. Quality baseline E. Raji chart Answer is A. Process configuration. Question 39. You are the business analyst for your organization and are leading a presentation about an identified problem. This presentation will help the stakeholders to understand the problem and it will help you when you begin to elicit requirements from the stakeholders. Which type of learner learns best through the presentation of models? A. Visual learners. B. Auditory learners. C. Kinesthetic learners. D. Communication model learners. Answer is A. Visual learners. Question 40. What requirements elicitation involves carefully selected stakeholders and subject matter experts for a short, intensive period, usually for one to a few days, to define and document the requirements for a solution? A. Many-to-many -many interviews. B. Requirements workshop. C. Focus Group. D. Prototyping. Answer is B. Requirements Workshop. Question 41. 
What type of interview is the most common as part of requirements elicitation? A many to one B many to many C one to one D one to many. Answer is C one to one. Question 42. Which of the following meeting brings all of the potential vendors together to discuss the statement of work and the request for proposal? A contract bidding meeting B status meeting C qualified vendors meeting D bidders conference. Answer is D bidders conference. Question 43. Which of the following techniques involves determining and documenting the variance between business requirements and current capabilities? A risk analysis B schedule analysis C gap analysis D cost benefit analysis. Answer is C gap analysis. Question 44. Which of the following is not a component of flowchart? A forks B attributes C activities D joins. Answer is B attributes. Question 45. Jenny is the business analyst for the UHQ organization. She is preparing to complete the conduct elicitation activity for her organization. Jenny can use all of the following techniques as part of this activity except for which one? A requirements workshops B document analysis C interviews D problem tracking. Answer is D problem tracking. Question 46. You are the business analyst for your organization. For the past several months you have been completing the business analysis duties for the solution stakeholders. You now have, you believe, the solution requirements identified and documented. What must you now do with the requirements before proceeding? A. Make certain the stakeholders can pay for the solution and have them sign off on the requirements. B. Present the solution to the project manager for his input. C. Get all of the stakeholders to sign off on the requirements. D. Make certain the stakeholders understand the requirements before they approve the requirements you've gathered. Answer is D. Make certain the stakeholders understand the requirements before they approve the requirements you've gathered. Question 47. You are the business analyst for your organization and preparing to complete the requirements elicitation activities. Your manager wants to know when the requirements elicitation process will be completed. Which of the following responses best describes the nature of the requirements elicitation process? A. The schedule of the project determines the duration of the requirements elicitation process. B. The duration of the requirements elicitation activities is determined by the willingness of the project stakeholders to contribute to the requirements information. C. The size of the project determines the duration of the requirements elicitation process. D. Eliciting requirements is not a compartmentalized activity. Answer is D. Eliciting requirements is not a compartmentalized activity. Question 48. Which of the following is mandatory in most software development projects? A. Communication management plan B. Disaster recovery plan C. Test plan D. Procurement plan. Answer is C. Test plan. Question 49. You are the business analyst for your organization and are preparing for the conduct elicitation activity. You'll need several stakeholders' roles as you prepare for this activity in your organization. Which one of the following stakeholders may be responsible to dictate that a specific process or technique be followed during your requirements elicitation activities? A. Project Manager B. Regulator C. Functional Management D. Project Sponsor Answer is B. Regulator Question 50 what element of the conduct elicitation activity is tracked to provide a basis for future planning? A. Time actually spent eliciting the requirements B. Number of stakeholders that did not participate in the requirements elicitation C. Cost of actually eliciting the requirements D. Changes that entered the scope throughout the requirements elicitation activities. Answer is A. Time actually spent eliciting the requirements.